Well, you just really couldn't ask for a better night at Summers Taylor than this as the Bucks get set to take on Stetson. It is the first of a grueling home conference weekend where the Bucks are glad to have home field advantage. This, of course, the rematch from the 2010 Atlantic Sun Championship in which the Bucks defeated Stetson for the first time in those two programs' histories together. International night at the field as a lot of parents and fans out to watch the international players like Ryan Coulter certainly needed to get on his game, and we'll see a little bit of him later as he figures in heavily. You know what a contest between these two teams is going to be very low scoring. The only mistake of the night might be the one that determines the outcome, and so you're going to have a lot of focus on the two keepers. Coulter facing Andreas Schnabel for the first time as the Stetson Hatters warm up. Jonathan Mendoza, the team's leading goal scorer. Easy to see him with those bright yellow cleats going on. Bucks with a lot of chances early, but just couldn't quite get past Schnabel, David Haba. And then you see Mendoza haul down Nate Hodges the box. A lot of that going on in this contest. It was, a, it was a pretty heavy contact game, but evenly officiated. They averaged 10 fouls per team and uh, no major infractions in the box that could have led to timely penalty kicks. So a very evenly officiated game, and the Bucks just couldn't get a lot of good opportunities on goal. Here's one of the best ones in regulation is Aaron Schoenfeld falls to the ground and then Stetson's best opportunity what a what a nice flick there by Mendoza to Steven Sabalos but Ryan Coulter up to the task we talked about keepers being so important in the outcome of this game Coulter keeps it tied at zero as we go to overtime Aaron Schoenfeld with a cross into David Gino the best opportunity of the night for the Bucks goes by the wayside as he's right in front of the box but Schnabel was able to deflect that one out of bounds. Nothing doing on the corner. Come on, sir, down in front. Oh, geez. Well, the Bucks uh, is the fans dismayed, the Bucks dismayed on the field as well as they couldn't make the best of that opportunity, and uh, we ended in a scoreless tie. I tell you what, it's easy to make the scoreboard graphic when there's that many goose eggs up there. Shots favoring the Hatters, but even in the corners, and again, a great performance by both keepers in the tie. And big news from Stetson. The women's team all over the Hatters on the strength of Jenna Connell's first career hat trick. Three goals, ties her for the team lead with 10 for the year. And Jenna Peterson got her 10th, which is uh, well on the way. Both of those players flirting with the program record 6-3. to three. Lady Bucks averaged a goal every 11 minutes and 15 seconds in the second half. From Summers Taylor Stadium, John Stevens.